Hey there, this is Lila. Before this playthrough begins, I just wanted to mention it's a little bit of an odd one in that it took me more than a year to actually record it. A bunch of life stuff happened. Um, so this first episode that you're about to watch was recorded 13 months ago, and the others are, well, a lot of them are newer. The final three episodes of the series I just recorded today, actually, so it's already finished. In my opinion, it doesn't make too much of a difference. Um, the story is pretty straightforward. There's not too many characters. I always felt like I could jump back into it, even when it had been months since I last played. But if there's any minor continuity errors or little things I forgot, uh, please forgive that. But I think it's perfectly enjoyable. So I hope you enjoy. Welcome to Amnesia Rebirth. This is Frictional Games' sequel to Amnesia The Dark Descent and their next game after Soma. Frictional Games likes to take their time and make really, really, really good horror games. There is no company that I like the horror games of more than Frictional Games. I'm really excited. Yeah, let's just jump into it. I haven't played it at all, not even for a minute. I didn't want to spoil a single thing. I know practically nothing about it. And ignore the fact that there's a continue button. I just accidentally pressed new game when I was messing around with the settings. But I have not actually played at all. This game should not be played to win. Immerse yourself in the world and the story. Fear and darkness are your enemies. There is a moment when you realize what the pain has made of you. In hiding, curled in on yourself, unable to show the world your face. Acting on instinct, lashing out, even at those closest to you. Time has passed, and time is a thief. It has stolen your memories. The agony has faded, but so has every precious moment of joy. You have been hollowed out from the inside, and there's nothing left of the person you used to be. But you try. You try to remember how to smile. You try to remember how to love. And one day you crawl out from your hiding place and step back into the world. And then, every day, you do what you must to survive. There won't make it go away. Ugh. Salim, it's just turbulence. It'll settle down soon. Yes, yes, I know. It's hard, though. You know, your head tells you one thing, but your heart disagrees. Try to sleep. I couldn't. I keep imagining what might go wrong. I know someone who can help you. And who's that? Marka. Oh, I had no idea you brought him. I didn't want him to be lonely. I know, my heart. It's good for him to have an adventure, but he'll be glad when this journey's over, I think. He's had a hard life. And there's so much more to come. Alex! Jasmine, yeah, oh. get up here! Hello. Hello.
Take it. Don't lose it. No. No, come on. Need to find him. He must understand. Don't forget. It's... Uh, it's her. It's all because of her. Focus! I am Desi. I am still Desi. Try to keep calm, or it will get worse. Do not allow yourself anger. Do not allow yourself to fear. You understand me, Tassi? Salim? So we're on an expedition of some sort, right? I think it said mining expedition? Hmm, this one's only half remembered. The subject is blurry. That's the, um, uh, Maka, was it? The stuffed animal Salim was looking at, that we gave to Salim. Anastasi, or Anastasi, Tassi, Trianon, engineering drafter. And Salim Hanaki, sorry if I'm totally mispronouncing that. Third rifle. Third rifle? So is that just like a, a guard for the expedition? Seemed like on the flight we were f kind of phasing in and out of existence into different realities. Ah, oh, right. The good old you can pick up everything and rotate objects and. Uh, yep, there we go. Rotate it further, closer. I've always loved that in frictional games. Games. <laughs> Look at those dirty, like, dirt and sand covered windows. That looks so cool. Can anyone hear me? 
Oh, this is such a cool looking scene. Look at this. Our flight plan. Um, I'll check that after. Hello, hello. This is Tessie. Uh, that thing doesn't work anymore. That's blood, I think. But there's no bodies. This is Dr. Metzia. I will try again later. I love that we can see our bodies. Passengers to crew. Plane is the Cassandra. Nicholas Mason is the pilot, or was the pilot. We don't actually know what happened to everybody. The two flight legs were one and a half hours and then seven hours. Quite a long flight. To get outside. Oh, Mother Mary. I was here, I think. Where did they go? Where's Salim? I see a lot of footsteps leading away from the crash. Cassandra. In my case, left side, bandages, quickly. It's a bird over there. It's a trail of stuff over that way. Including a box that looks like it was dragged. I see some trail marks from that. There's a wing over there. Don't see a damn thing in the distance, though. I love that we're starting out in such brightly lit area. Because, you know, horror in their games have so classically been in just, you know, the darkest places. And this is just so the opposite. No, Rachel... No, 
Yeah, that one's locked. Personal flotation device. <laughs> Funny. Mason, the pilot. Papers, not our problem. Travel from, not our problem. Sterling, Sterling Shipping providing the plane, Cassandra. Custom job. Hope it's got guts rather than just pretty looking. Pilot is Mason, Masson? A uh, Frenchman hired by the shipping company. Meet him and hostess, Yasmin, at Mason Blanc, Wednesday the 3rd. Is this Mason from Morocco trip in 33? If so, damn good pilot, but could charm the skin off a snake. Warn Rachel. So, you met our pilot, did you? Thinks a lot of himself, don't he? Ah, it'd annoy me more, but he is good. So what can you do? Out here. Just taking direct sunlight's a bad idea. Oh. Yeah, if I hold down control, I guess we go into hide mode. Can't move at all. I can look around a little bit. I can't really look up or down too much. And if I just tap it, we can go into crouch. I don't want to miss anything. So we really can't explore too far from the plane. I've got to get away from here. Find some proper shelter, or I'll bake. Yeah. Do you want to see if I can get to that wing, though? Although, I, I mean, what the heck would be there? I don't know. Is it possible? It's probably not. Okay, I'll make one try. I don't know if I'm supposed to be up here even. No. It's too hot. All right, let's get going. That bird doesn't look right, by the way. 
Like... Is that a normal bird? Is it just a species I've never seen before, or is it some sort of alien bird? I don't know, the colors and the shape seem strange, but I can't see it very well. I guess it might be a normal bird. God. Oh, oh God. fuck. Oh. So they buried two of their people before we left. Before they left. Where did the others go? Wait, thank you. We've no choice. We need to get them to shelter. I know. It's Selim. He's hurt. You know what he's like. Let's get him down there, then you and I can sit on him while the doc takes a look. Don't worry. The caves aren't far. Caves. Caves. So we did all this stuff and then somehow ended up right back here? The only one back here? If that was ever filled with water, it's not now. in here. Salim! Salim, are you there? I just gotta check all the nooks and crannies. I just have to. Drag marks. Oh, oh, there is a cave. Oh, thank God. Hmm. But it's good, isn't it? 
People have been here. So, we'll be shot with salt. Instead of dying of thirst, I agree. Leon. What? No point getting your hopes up. We're in this shit. Bowl, some cups, looks like a water, water skin or whatever you'd call that. Susan, dearest Alfie, the stories don't do this place justice. It is amazing. You've never seen anywhere as busy as the market in Algiers. The smells, the flavours, the colours, and oh, the noise. I may have picked you both up a little something. You never know your luck. All my love, always. Dad. Holt, chief people wrangler. <laughs> Is that the official description of their, their job? Papers, nothing. Travel from Croydon Airport. Breath of fresh air. Must thank C for suggesting her. On top of everything, much better at it than me. Need to give her a bit of time to get to grips with the local scenery, but very promising start. Hopefully she can be a permanent fixture for future trips. Rachel, yeah, she organized those lectures in London, and uh, Charlie back at the Institute recommended her. Got a good head on her. I like her. No, don't you give me that look. Oh, Tazi. Look at the hands. Such tiny, perfect fingers. <laughs> Hello. Hello, my little one. <laughs> From over brightness to over darkness. Great. It's all right. I can manage. Come on. Not far now. Hello? Is anyone there? Salim! Is that all covered in blood? All this cloth? In this box? Hold him more tightly, or the stitching will tear. I... Oh, I'm sorry. I will be still. Salim, I have you. I have you. Set up camp here for a little while. Salim got injured. It wasn't that long ago that somebody lit a fire here. The coals are still red. This is us. Salim and me. I brought this here. 
August 33, love transcends law. What is it? I... I had something to say to you. A whole speech, something poetic, but... You don't need to say anything. I know, it's just... <laughs> I never thought this would happen. Any of this. You and me, I would never have imagined... Selim. There is no one I would rather spend my time with. Really? <laughs> really? Stop worrying, I'm in love with you, you idiot. You are my heart, Desitrianum. <laughs> I said no poetry. <laughs> them trying to pinpoint where they are I think hence the X's and question marks they're somewhere there and they want to get up there in Algeria on the coast James Henry Mitchell expedition leader Rachel Holt assistant to Mr. Mitchell Sponsor, assistant, doctor. Selim was the guide. I love how textured this paper is. Dirty and textured and scribbled on. Portable radio transmitter. Assume nine people. Two days water, one day food. Rope, three rifles, one lantern, four bottles of lamp oil, four boxes of matches, paper, kindling for fire, fuel, and blankets. One medical kit. Needle and thread. Ether, ammonium, iodine, laudanum, gauze, burn treatment, eye dressing, adhesive compress, pair, scissors, two scalpel blades, one compass. Ooh. Hard to light a match. I'm kind of scared to. I don't want to use them up. Can be used to light up dark areas and to light torches and other lights by interacting with them. Okay. Oh, look at it burn. Look at the texture on our arm. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, that does not last long. Hey, it's us. Engineering drafter. Papers not needed. French national. Travel from La Bourget. Tassie, Tassie. Really don't know how best to handle this. Sure, she'll cope in the field. This is not a difficult trip. We've been on much worse. But the last year has been hell for her. That call from Paris. She sounded so broken. Guess all I can do is look out for her. Try to keep her busy. Need to prod Malik and Rachel to do the same. She's got Salim here too, which will help. I really, really hope this is what she needs. That it can start... Uh, mending things for her. For both of them. Call from Paris. What was the call from Paris? Hey, I promise I won't bring this up again, but I know this won't be easy on you. First time out again, you know? So, if you want a break, you want to get away from people, any of that, just say whatever you need. There's another grave. I'm 
Looks like they were burning their trash. For fuel. To those who follow, I am Salim Hanachi. I crashed with the crew of the Cassandra on March 3rd, 1937. I and others were injured. We stayed while the rest of the crew went for help. My companions are dead now, and the radio is broken. I cannot wait alone. There is some sort of creature here. I must go after the crew as best I can. They followed the path through the mountain. I will leave signs. Tazi, if I do not find you, and by some chance you are reading this, know that you are my heart. I and others were injured. We stayed while the rest of the crew went for help. I'm trying to piece together what happened. Like, they were waiting at the plane. And then after all of Salim's uh, other injured companions, after they died, I guess that would be the two that were in the graves, then Salim decided to go and try to find the rest try to find help something couldn't wait any longer uh, especially because of the creature that was there and then salim found them in the cave because they were the doctor was mending salim's wounds but then uh, again uh, they were trying to come and follow and find us but then at some point, we ended up as the only one back at the plane. What the hell happened? Oh, why couldn't you wait? I'll find you. I promise. I'm gonna stay away from the really dark areas <laughs> as much as I can. <laughs> Go towards the light. the sound of that breaking. Listen, that laudanum bottle just roll down. My darling Amanda, by now you'll know about the crash, and you'll know that our situation is a bit sticky. We're off for a walk through the desert to see if we can find a radio or a village or some other sort of help. Everyone's putting a brave face on it, but no one really knows what's going to happen. So maybe this is it. Maybe this is the last you'll hear. If it is, I'm sorry, my love. I I suppose it's my fault for wanting a big adventure. I should have stayed home after all. Please tell them both that I love them. Tell Susan that she's the best girl in the world. And tell Alfie to look after his sister. Oh, now I'm sitting here with tears in my eyes and my hands are trembling and I just don't know what to write. I don't know how to say goodbye. I can't believe this is goodbye. I love you, my darling girl. I know in my heart we'll see each other again. Even if it's not in this life. You're Jonathan.
Oh no. Uh. <laughs> oh well. I don't have any more matches. It's a pass. Sterling Shipping Company ID card. Transoceanic Shipping. For Yasmin Jabani. What a beautiful girl. Is that your daughter? Yes. <laughs> My father keeps nagging me for grandchildren. <laughs> Did you leave her in Paris? Yes. Is she with her grand... Yasmin, I'd like to check the Sadiola samples are packed up. Give me a hand. Of course, Mr. Mitchell. Uh, sorry, Hank. Hmm. The way Hank redirected the conversation there, I think the call from Paris was... Our child? Passing away? While we were out on an expedition. Too much while holding a match will make it go out. Oh, right. That totally makes sense. <laughs> it's really cool that they included that. Alex and Richard. October 36. Thought you should have this. It captures you both so well. GX. Stay here. There's something in the tunnels, I swear it. You won't be staying. You'll be with us, and I'll take care of you. Come here. <laughs> Do we have a couple of gays? I think we got a couple of gays. Yaka Sanulama Mine. I'm pronouncing that as if it's Finnish. It probably isn't. <laughs> Sadiola. Not even sure where that is. Uh, client Triple Crown Mining Company. Draftsman Anastasi Trianon. Engineer Jonathan Weber. March 1937. Listen to just the sound of this bucket. I do this in every Frictional Games game. It's beautiful. It's all beautiful. Go to the grave. I see some light. Oh. Oh no. Salim. 
I'm sorry. Oh, that Lucas, I cannot bear it. The rest of you? This is not Salim's fault. I am of sound mind. Eva Ritter. Looks like they overdosed on laudanum. Uh, hold on, I want to check who Ava was in the expedition crew roster. Ava Ritter, or uh, oh yeah, a geologist. Probably married to Lucas Ritter. After Lucas died, that's why they took their own life. Cold. Oh, shit. Ava. You are Ava. Oh, I'm so sorry. Well, I don't know how to read that. Is that poetry or a song? Is that the Bible in German? Not sure. And that would be Lucas. I know him. Oh, Lucas, I think. Shall we go into the dark then? Should I light my one remaining match? I, I don't even know if I have... Okay, I have two. I guess. Well, moving, it's going to last me a good five seconds. Oh, this pathway. That. It's like there's shadow monsters at the corners, at the edges, on the margins. Salim. <laughs> What's in there? Trail. I went to see Monsieur Esperandio at the market, but he has no more work until next week. I know that Tazi has savings, and I know that something will come, but it is hard. It is not just two of us now. I want to know that I'm keeping them safe. This is from Salim's old diary. So it was their child. They've had a relationship for a while. Which dark hole do I want to go into? I mean, this is the trail, right? So, 
Perhaps the other way. Ah, okay. Can I like catch things on fire? <laughs> I think this is made out of wood, the handle. Jesus Christ. I can see like five feet in front of me. I'm not sure this is the best idea. Mm. Darkness is my enemy. But what else can I do? So many things to light, if only I had a fucking match. Fuck. Uh. Staying in the dark without a light, the light source will increase your fear. It does in real life, too. Come on. Ah! Yes! Two matches. That's not much. Oh, thank God. Fuck. A beetle? be nice. I know I don't need to like light up every single thing, but I want to. I really, really want a trail back. Lights to follow. This looks like a lantern that I can take, but I can't take it. Or not a lantern, but a torch. He was hurt. He can't have gone far. It's footsteps. I can see him. I sit here, looking at her, and I still can't believe this. How can I deserve it? Any of it. Go oh, fucking hell. a bit like the shrine at Douvres, back home. This is a safe point, isn't it? Oh, I feel so much better in here. Holy Mother, hear my plea. Oh 
my god. I, I didn't think there'd be something inside of it. Getting it is the problem. break it, don't I? Sorry. Sorry. I was trying to respectfully put it back. Initially. Four puny matches feels like a godsend. does feel so safe. Between the light, the calming music, and the fact that there's a huge 2x4 blocking the door also helps. <sighs> and I think it's a good place to end the episode. So I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.